Some time ago, I had a very interesting discussion with one of our clients. This guy told me how he uses offline conversions, something rather unknown from Facebook, to improve his ad performance. He has an, uh, an online store, an e-commerce website, and uh, he was manually exporting uh, transactions from his store, manually configure a file with the requirement um, data, and each day upload this file as offline conversion inside Facebook. And according to him, this has some positive effects on his ad performance. And it makes a bit sen a little, little sense because uh, as you know, Facebook has all this problem in tracking conversions, tracking transactions. And by using this uh, very, uh, not, not very popular feature that Facebook has, you can send additional data about your transactions. And uh, the guy was asking if we can help with this, if we can do something inside the plugin to help with this um, offline conversion export. And we did. Uh, the most recent version of Pixel Your Site has uh, support for such an export file. And in this video, I want to explain how you can configure uh, offline conversions inside your Ads Manager, Facebook Ads Manager, how you can set up things so these uh, conversions are connected to your ads account and very important how you can export WooCommerce purchases as offline conversions using Pixel Your Site Professional. So let's start. First, first of all, this is Pixel Your Site. Go to uh, the WooCommerce page, scroll and right here, if you are on the latest version, you will see this export transaction as offline conversion. Uh, for now, let's stop here. I will explain exactly how to use it, but let's actually uh, start by doing the necessary stuff inside Ads Manager or Events Manager, it depends. So to um, send offline conversions to Facebook, you need uh, to do a few things. You can do this from your events manager or from your business settings. If you want to do it from business settings, uh, look for this part, data sources, offline events, and start to add a new um, source from here. But instead, I will do it from my um, events manager. So this is a events manager overview. I mean, this one, this um, link here go to data sources and you will see your current data sources. Usually you will have a pixel uh, somewhere here. Now, uh, I already have a <clears throat> uh, offline uh, source, but I will add another one. Go on uh, this plus, green plus, connect data source and select offline. Connect. Now, Give it a name. And click create. Um, from here, you will select which ad account has access to this uh, offline source, in my case, it will be just this one and confirm. This step is uh, important because um, those ad account will use the offline source. Now, um, select which people will uh, manage this and you are done. You can uh, go back and change these settings from here. Sorry, I have to refresh the page. And now I have my new uh, source. Click on it and you can change those settings from here. You can see easily share with business, share with ad account. If you click on this, um, the settings page, business settings page for this particular uh, offline events will uh, be available. From here, you can add 
um, people, assign partners, assign ad accounts. So if you know, if you need to make some changes, this is how you can do it. But the most important part is just coming. You need to upload events and uh, you need to do this manually. First, go back to uh, piece of your site and create the file. Now, uh, there are a few options inside Pixel Your Site, export from last time, uh, export by dates, and you can pick up the dates like this, or export all orders. I will uh, select this one for now, so create export. Okay, and click download. Good. Now let's go back to my um, events manager, upload events, select file. I will select the file I just exported. Open next May data. Uh, the thing is, this is a demo website and I don't have uh, real orders, so most data is lacking. What is really important is here, you need to make sure the, the event time is um, recorded correctly and you have various options. This is what you need to, sell, to, to have. So there are others as well, but you need this one. It will be there by default, but if you have problems with event time, this is how you can fix it. Another thing I will explain later, actually not later, just now, um the events are accepted only if their time is after the um, connection was created so in my case since all my orders are older uh, because i just created this connection they will be rejected for this reason but i will um, continue and i want to show you all the process but keep in mind that after you create a connection like i just show you you need to wait a day so create the connection today and import events tomorrow otherwise everything will be rejected because um, the events are too old so that's one thing to consider let's start upload and of course um, you will uh, see this page refresh it uh, there is some delay you might not see the data right away I will show you how it looks uh, on a different account that I have. This one. So it will be something like this. You will see how many events were imported each day. And if you go here, you will see some data, data as well. Um, events matched. In theory, Facebook shows you how many of those events were matched, but they only show you information if you um, have more than a thousand events. So if you import less than a thousand events, they won't show you data, prob probably to protect some uh, privacy. So uh, in most cases, you won't see the match info next to your events. But if you have more than a thousand events, you'll see it. So this is how it looks after a few days of importing events. Uh, as I show you. Now, uh, the last thing, when you create an ad or when you edit an ad, and right here in the ad settings, you will have this tracking. And this is where you can add the pixel that will track your ad and also if there are some uh, available sources of line events. And you will have a list with all, all the online um, events that are available for this ad account. So this is uh, where you, you, you can see that uh, offline events are connected to the ad account and um, the data that you manually upload is uh, tracked by Facebook and used by Facebook. So This is everything uh, you need in order to start using offline events. Res recap. Uh, Create the um, offline source from your uh, events manager. Go here on this green button, add new, import, export 
the file from your website and upload events and then they will start to work um, for the ads account that is connected to this offline source if you need to change some settings go here and it's pretty intuitive okay uh, you have to do this every day so export upload events next day export and upload events um, i'm not saying this works 100 percent i'm just saying that i have positive signals and it's something you should consider doing it's an experiment i would say and uh, maybe if it works share your results and comment above this video uh, on our youtube channel and uh, let me know how it goes you plan to do some more with this feature you plan to add an integration with constant magic soon so you will um, be able to export only orders from clients that had a particular consent for example this quite it might be quite useful uh, and eventually uh, if all goes well we plan to do this uh, with an api integration so uh, no need for uh, manually exporting the file and uploading um, offline conversions but for now we have this uh, relatively simple simple approach uh, as I just explained in this video. So uh, thank you for watching. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Like, subscribe, and uh, have a nice and great day.